Many have heard this question, but how long is a piece of string? From one end to the other, or two times the distance from the middle to the end? Okay, this is a drawing of a piece of string. This is another drawing of a piece of string. Which one is longer, A or B? Seems simple enough. Obviously B is longer. It looks shorter, but it's made up of lots of zigzags, which when you pull it straight, makes it longer than A. But if we look closer on these zigzags, to find more zigzags, and then in those zigzags you find even more zigzags. So the closer you look, the longer it's getting. Is that right? Well let's look at another example. Rivers. The river Danube is how long? 2,850 meters? 2,706 meters? 2,780 meters? The answer? All of the above. But how can this be? Depending on where you look, the Britannica, pairs, or on the World Wide Web, places give different distances. This is because they've looked at the river on different scales. The closer you get, the more you can see the river twists and turns, and you can judge the actual distance more accurately. The problem happens when people don't want to pay other people to measure the river millimetre by millimetre. Understandably. Another case of this is the Spanish-Portuguese border. Both have agreed on the path it takes, but the difference in distance is big, like 227 kilometers big. The Portuguese say that the border is 1,214 kilometers long, whereas the Spanish say it's only 987 kilometers long. It's the same idea that they looked at it on different scales, and so the Portuguese measured it more accurately. So things get longer when you measure them more accurately. The idea of the string having zigzags in zigzags forever is an example of a fractal. Fractals and micro patterns. Broccolis have these. A single large head of broccoli has many branches, and if you cut one off, you can see that this also has many branches. Branches in branches, zigzags in zigzags. Shapes can follow fractals. If we draw a large equilateral triangle and then put an upside down triangle in the middle where the corners touch the middle of the sides on the first triangle, and then if we put more triangles in these smaller triangles and more and more and more, just triangles. For those more interested in maths, you can do this using algebra. We're going to use a flowchart that says start number d, d times 1 minus d, and then this gives us our new value of d. Now d has to start off as a decimal, so we'll start as 0.6. So that's 0.6 times 0.4, which is 0.24. Then 0.24 times 0.76 is 0.1824, and so on. You can see that it's rapidly decreasing towards zero. But what happens if we add a constant k? This time the constant is going to be equal to 2. So we start again, 0.6 times 0.4 times 2, this is 0.48, then 0.48 times 0.52 times 2 is 0.4992. So 0.4992 times 0.5008 times 2 is 0.49999, etc. This is obviously moving towards 5, and then if we have different values of k, the pattern changes. If k is equal to 2.5, then it tends towards 2.6. If k is 3, then it oscillates between 0.664 and 0.669. Oscillates? Basically, it jumps between the two numbers and never settles on 1. If we make k equal to 3.47, then it oscillates between 0.403, 0.479, 0.835, 0.842, four numbers? Well, we keep going. If we make it four, then total madness breaks out. It never seems to settle at all, just jumps all over the show. Let's graph it. Starting at one, and then it goes to three, fine. At three it splits into two, and then as we get closer to four, it splits more and more and more, and there is the fractal. And there are uses in everyday life. Imagine how long it would take to download every pixel of a picture. A long time. So what programs do is they turn it into formula. These formulas download much quicker than your image viewer converts this formula into your picture. 
Maybe it could also help you get rich. The stock exchange. The FTSE 100 or the Dow Jones index. If you could forecast what was going to happen, you would be rich. So people try and spot patterns, create the perfect formula to make them instant cash. Where long term forecasts seem reliable, short term ones appear totally random. But they show signs of fractals. Here is the company Einstein PLC, and here's their share price over the last year, and here's the share price over the last month, and here's today's share price. They look kinda similar. But looking at the share price is one thing, forecasting is another. It seems totally random, and this randomness associated with fractals is called chaos. Just remember me when you get your millions. This is ES Einsteinium. How long is a piece of string? Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Bye!